Hello, uh, all you guys, and welcome to your seventh Blender 2.6 tutorial. In the next couple of tutorials, we're going to be getting ready to create a world for a game that we might, that we're going to learn how to make in the Blender game engine. So before we actually start making the game, what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually create our terrain. You can do this yourself, but Blender 2. Point, since I think 2.5, there's been a uh, add-on that came with Blender that allows you guys to do this. So let's go and open up Blender just to start. All right, And I'm just going to make this full screen because I don't need... and yeah, okay, that's all I need. I'm going to get rid of this default cube and I'm going to go into file or you're going to go into file. I already have this add-on enabled and saved into my user preferences so we're just going to go into our user preferences so we can get the correct add-on and we're going to go into add-ons and we're going to go and click over here on add mesh and you're going to want to enable the ant landscape and I already have it enabled and you can save that as your default if you want to but let's start this now I'm going to click shift A to add and I'm going to uh, go by mesh and let's go all the way down by the bottom I already I enabled something else over here but we're going to go all the way to the bottom where you should be and click landscape as you can see it created our landscape I preferably don't like using the uh, there's multiple multiple different types and everything. I don't prefer I prefer not to use the multifractal, but I use the FBM because it tends to look more like a uh, terrain. And what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna change our subdivision to at least 180. If or 128. If not that, then we're gonna want to do it to uh, let's check 256 and as you can see the detail goes up almost exponentially actually it is exponentially huh. it's going up by twos All right. but, and then if you don't like the first one or something I, I'm going to change this back down to 128 because it makes everything a little bit slower and if you don't like the first one you can just click right over here and random seed and each time you change that you can get a new design I honestly like land, like that one I like things that have some flat ground and some mountains all around it it adds a little bit of flavor to the whole thing the only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't add a bottom. So, for the average thing, I'm going to want to just um, shift A. We're going to add a new plane. I'm just going to delete that plane so we're out of the edit mode for that. And then we're going to just click S. And a safe way to do this is just to scale it up to 100. And now you have a actually decent sized world. I guess you could make it better if you guys wanted to. I hope you guys are learning stuff from these tutorials. And in the next tutorial, I think I'll teach you guys how to texture paint our world. So uh, let's actually go file, and save as. And we're going to want to add, I'm going to go to where I store all this information. I don't have my hard drive plugged in. Lovely. And I can't even find it. That's all the way across the room, of course. So, you know, what? we're just going to create one in our desktop. I, or, not desktop. We're going to create this in our uh, Documents. Okay, and create, you can click on this create new directory and create a new directory, and we're just going to name this Blender tutorial, tutorial uh, D 
game tutorial. And just enter, and then we're going to find it and open it. I'm going to create a new directory, and we're just, I'm going to name this uh, world. Double one, and we're gonna enter that, and we're just gonna type world. I'm gonna capitalize that because I'm weird like that, and save the Blender file. And now, this I'll teach you guys some more in the next tutorials. The vert or not vertex painting. We're gonna be doing some. I don't know how to explain it. We're going to be doing, we're going to paint textures on here instead of having to design our own texture and game. Blender has a tool that we'll be able to use for that. So let's let's end this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please like, subscribe, or do anything you want. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.